Okay, so we've talked about net area. This is a slightly different concept here. When we say total area, we don't care about the positives and negatives. We want to think of everybody as being positive. And the classic example here, we'll do a couple examples like this, is distance. When I'm measuring somebody's distance, I don't care which direction they moved in. If I walk a mile to the store and a mile back, I started and ended at the same place. My total displacement would be zero, but my distance would be two miles. So there are times when we don't want to say, oh, anything above is positive and anything below is negative. We would call this a total area. And that's when we make everybody positive. And the way we do that is we would say the integral of the absolute value of some function. And when you make, when you do absolute value, what you're doing is taking any of the negative parts and flipping them over and making them positive. And then we would just add up those two positive areas. So I'll do an example here in a minute, just like this. The classic example of this concept, displacement is just the definite integral of velocity that tells you your change in position. Distance is the definite integral of the absolute value of velocity or the definite integral of speed. And that will tell you a total distance. This will make more sense once we do some velocity examples. Okay. Here's a, a little short example. So this is the same one we had here in this last example. This guy goes like this. Here's four, this was negative two, negative four, and up to six. So I'm just redrawing this picture we had in the last video. And I redrew it wrong. Sorry, let me fix that. Here's negative four. This was at two, and then at four. At six, we were at four. Okay, if I want the total area between this graph and the x-axis, that's different than saying net area. I know that's a little confusing at first, but you get used to it. The net area, this stuff we called negative, this stuff we called positive. What I'm actually doing now is finding the integral from zero to six, the definite integral of the absolute value of x minus two dx, which means this chunk here that's below the axis, we're going to flip that over and make it positive. So now I want all of this positive area. So that chunk in here, right there, same answers we got before, negative four and eight, but now everybody's positive. This guy right here, this triangle, his area is four. This triangle, his area is eight. The total area is 12 units, square units.